In this video, I will show you how to use the ESP32 camera module as a Wi-Fi camera. You can also consider this video as an ESP32 camera testing tutorial. This module does not have a USB port to connect directly to a computer. So we need to use a USB to TTL converter. For example, I am using this STDA module to program the ESP32 cam module. We will follow this diagram to connect the camera module to the FTDA module. Okay, I have connected everything as per the diagram. Now we need to do one more thing. Connect the GPIO 0 pin to ground to set the module in programming mode. After shorting the GPIO 0 pin with ground, we will connect the module to the computer using a USB cable. First, make sure that the ESP32 board is installed in your Arduino ID. If you have not installed the ESP32 board yet, you can watch the video link in the i button. Before programming, we need to select the board and port number. For that, go to the board manager and search for ESP32 and click on AI Thinker ESP32 cam and select the correct port number. Now go to file, then examples, then ESP32, then camera, and then click on camera with server. Comment out line 17 and uncomment line 25. Next, enter your Wi Fi SSID and password in line 39 and 40. Okay, now just upload the code. The code has been uploaded. Now open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 1,15,200. But nothing is showing in the serial monitor because the module is still in programming mode. We need to change it to normal boot mode. To do that, simply remove the wire between GPU 0 and ground and then restart the module. Now we see an error message in the serial monitor. Don't worry, we can solve this issue easily. First, remove the module from the computer's USB port and connect it to a good quality mobile phone charger instead. Before powering the charger, open your router's control panel. In the Wi-Fi device list, we don't see any device named ESP32 yet. Now plug in the mobile charger to provide power. Within a few seconds, we should see a new device named ESP32 in the router's Wi-Fi device list. Next, copy the IP address of the ESP32 and open it in a new browser tab. Great. We now have access to the ESP32 camera control panel. There are many settings we can adjust here, but for now, we will simply scroll down and click Start Stream. Scrolling down further, we can see that the camera is now sending real-time video. That's great. I hope you now understand how to use the ESP32 camera and how to make a simple Wi-Fi camera using this module. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.